hey guys welcome back to angular 10 spring boot crude full stack application tutorial series in previous video we understood the project structure of our angular application in this video let's go ahead and let's understand what are the components that we are going to develop going forward in our angular application well we are going to create four components and each component represents a functionality for example create employee component we develop to perform create employee functionality we create employee list component to perform employee list functionality we create update employee component to perform update employee functionality and we create employee details component to perform view employee details functionality so each component represents a you know separate functionality okay great now we have employee service so employee service is basically a angular service which holds all the uh, http uh, rest client code and basically we use angular service to you know to keep all the common logic and we can inject employee service in uh, required components so basically we use angular dependency injection to inject angular services in various components and we can delegate a task to the employee service for example we can keep all the logging uh, common logic in employee service and we can inject in required components and we can call uh, you know logging methods so in our angular application we create employee service class which will communicate with server using rest apis and uh, so employee service internally uses http client module to make a rest api call so basically we are going to uh, make a get a rest api call and post the rest api call and put rest api call and delete rest api call so these are the crude operations right so we are going to write a rest client code in an employee service to make this rest api call okay great and look at here we have a router so we are going to configure routing in app routing module angular provides its own uh, routing module so we can use angular provided modules to configure routing in our angular application all right great and also we are going to create a employee employee model so this is basically a typescript class it contains a properties and we create this employee typescript class model to hold a response of the rest apis so going forward we'll create all these components service and we configure routing in our angular application so basically we'll begin with employee list component but before that we are going to integrate bootstrap 4 css library in our angular application in next video we'll integrate bootstrap 4 css library in our angular application so that we can make our angular application responsive and stylish so once we integrate bootstrap css library in our angular application next we'll start creating employee list component and then once we complete employee list component then we'll start creating a create employee component and once we complete create employee component end to end then we'll start update employee component so once we complete update employee component then we'll create employee details component to perform view employee details functionality all right guys this is the quick summary of our angular application that we are going to develop on going forward thanks guys for watching i will see you guys in next video